had a great week and uh, this week we're going to be talking about the light of the world. But first, let's get up and moving, let's get our muscles working, our blood pumping, our heart a bit faster, ready to do some worship. So let's start with some star jumps. And then let's have some running on the spot. And let's do some high knees. And now hop on one leg. And hop on the other leg. And running again. And more star jumps. And there we go, we've got up, we've got active. Now let's have some worship. going to look at the subject of light. So what I want you to do is speak with your siblings or your parents and discuss what um, forms of light you can possibly think of. So I'll give you a couple of minutes to think on that. Um, whilst you are thinking, some of the ones that I can think of, um, you've got obviously the light in your room from a light bulb, um, you've got a light on a phone, I don't know if you can see that possibly, um, you've also got torches, um, you've got fire, um, is a good one, but also a dangerous one. Be careful with fire. Um, what else? Candles as well, um, but more on that 
later. Maybe you guys thought of more. Um, it can be light in any way from the sun. It's a good one. Moon, I don't know if you could count that as a light source. Maybe. Um, but again, maybe you thought of more. But I want us to talk about a particular person, a person that we um, rely on mostly for our salvation and for love, and that is Jesus, of course. So we're going to look at John eight twelve, and it says, Again, Jesus spoke to them, saying, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me, whoever follows me, <laughs> uh, whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of of life. That is a great promise for all of us to have that whoever follows Jesus, so me, you, your parents, um, will have the light of life. Meaning we are going to go through dark times, we are going to go through the valley, um, but we have somebody with us who will lead us, who will protect us, being Jesus. Um, another great verse is Matthew 5, sorry, Matthew 5, 14 to 16 and it says you are the light of the world this is talking to you um a city set on a hill cannot be hidden nor do people light a lamp and put it under a basket but on a stand and it gives light to all of the house number 16 in the same way let your light shine before others so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. So I'm going to do a little demonstration with you guys. Whoops. Oh, sorry, it's a scented candle. It is sugared raspberry. It's very nice. Very pink. I'm not a fan of pink, but I love the smell. So the idea of this verse is imagine you are this candle, okay? If you don't like pink, just imagine it's a different colour. And the idea is, is that because... We have Jesus in our lives and because we believe that he is real, we have ha -ha, um, a light within us. I don't know if you can see that. Yes. And what this verse is saying is just like a city on the hill, it cannot be hidden no matter how hard you try. But a candle can be blown out. It can be hidden with a basket. And that can be things like um, school, maybe school's getting stressful, maybe a problem within the family, um, maybe your pet died, um, maybe you just didn't get enough sleep, and that light can suddenly whoops, start going out, as you can see. There, smoke everywhere. And that can happen in any way but that is not the end of the story. It can be relit very, very easily with just prayer and spending more time with Jesus and trying not to allow the bad things, the dark to um, take control. It will come into your life because we are human, bad things happen, but we are lucky enough, we are grateful enough to have Jesus, God, in our lives to guide us and we need to remember what John 10 10 says it says that the thief comes to kill and destroy but God comes to give us everlasting life and that is really a promise to hold on to so I hope this was encouraging guys and God bless and have a great week okay so for our memory verse today we are going to be doing John chapter 10 verse 10 which says the thief comes only to steal kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. So let's do that again. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they might have life and have it abundantly. And one more time, let's do this together. John chapter 10 verse 10 says, the thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. Have a great week.